to solve an equation that has more than one operation, we are going to reverse the order of operations to undo and solve for the variable. If we were going to evaluate this expression, we would do multiplication first and then subtraction. Since subtraction was the last thing, priority following the order of operations, that's the first thing that we will undo. So to undo subtraction using the addition property of equality, we'll add five to both sides. The fives cancel out, leaving 11y. And simplifying on the right, we end up with 12. Last operation is multiplication. We'll use the multiplication principle and divide both sides by 11 to undo the multiplication and we end up with an answer of 12 elevenths. This next problem will use the same strategy. We have more than one operation. We will go backwards through the order of operations and do the least priority which is this addition of 5. Using the addition property we will add a negative or subtract a 5 from each side. 5 minus 5 cancels out, leaving 2 thirds x. 2 minus 5 is a result of a negative 3. When we have a reciprocal, or when we have a fraction, where we will multiply by its reciprocal. So in this case, to get rid of the 2 thirds, I'm going to multiply both sides, maintaining equality, by 3 halves. The 3 over 3 cancels out, the 2 over 2 cancels out, leaving a 1 times x or x. And to simplify our fractions, the negative 3 has a denominator of 1. Multiplying fractions together, we multiply the numerators and use that product as the new numerator, a negative times a positive is a negative and multiply the denominators using that product as the new denominator. In this next example, similar to what we've been doing, we will do our least priority going backwards through the order of operations. So to eliminate a minus or negative 4, add 4 to both sides, leaving a negative x is equal to 11. This negative x is shorthand for negative 1 times x. And we always want to solve for a positive 1 coefficient on our variable. So this does involve a second step, that which we will use our multiplication principle to solve. And here you have a choice. You can either multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. Negative divided by a negative is positive. Positive divided by a negative is a negative, And the result is a negative 11 for our solution. In this last problem, decimals, no different than fractions or integers. Our procedure is still the same. We want to get the variable by itself. Undo any addition or subtraction. To counter an addition of 5, we will subtract a 5. 0.8 or 8 tenths minus 5 leaves us with a negative 4.2 is equal to 2.8y, the 5's canceling out. The last operation to undo, to have a coefficient of 1 on the y, is to divide both sides by 2.8 to undo that multiplication, maintaining equality, and then do the indicated operation. A negative divided by a positive is negative. If we divide 4.2 by 2.8, the result is a 1.5. Here, 2.8 cancels out, leaving a 1 times y, or simply y for a solution.